Okay, so picking up where we left off, we're gonna go ahead and create another short code that we can wrap around this short code, essentially creating what's called nested short codes. And what we're gonna be building is the Bootstrap accordion, which will also be a part of the main plugin, which is the main uh, tutorial for this entire uh, plugin series. So let's go ahead and check out our code. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to delete this old button short code and I'll make it available on my website, easydevtoots.com, in case you lose it. And I'm also going to modify this short code up here. Now, we need two short codes now. The first one we need to, to make out is one for the wrapper or uh, the panel group. And then the second one is for each panel so that we can have this effect. So what I'll do is I'm going to change the name of this function from panel short code to let's call it accordion underscore wrapper short code and remember we have to change it down here as well so we'll call that accordion underscore wrapper short code also we'll need to change the name of the short code right here and we'll just call it accordion wrapper and then what I'll do is delete the markup here because we don't need it for this first short code and I'll also delete these attributes so we're basically starting out with a uh, a blank short code uh, template if you will now if we look at the bootstrap docs we only really need one unique attribute which is the ID the panel group class is uh, is required to get the um, the right effect so what I'll do is I'll add a new attribute here and I'll just call it um, why don't we just call it name and by default we'll set that equal to uh, what's the default one here accordion we'll set it to accordion just like that and for our markup we only need one div and it's going to be a div with uh, class of panel group panel dash group like that and if you remember we'll need an ID now the ID we're gonna set to the attribute so I'll put in the PHP statement and I'll just echo the name and the contents of our div is gonna be uh, the next short code we create and what we'll put is echo content. Now, because this is a nested short code, this content here is going to actually be a short code itself. Now, if we leave it as is, it's not going to work. It'll just show us the raw uh, short code data before it's parsed. So, what we need to do rather than just echo the content is we need to use a WordPress function called do short code and it takes in our content it looks like I have an extra semicolon and I'll take that out so now what this does is uh, when we use this accordion wrapper short code it'll take the short code that's nested within it and it'll parse it uh, properly if you forget to do this uh, short code function it's not gonna work I'm gonna change the name of this variable from panel contents to about accordion wrapper and just call it contents can't spell today and that'll be it for our first function I'm gonna go ahead and save it just for good measure and I'll also change the um, the comment up here the accordion wrapper and it only takes one attribute called name so I can delete title 
and then I'll change it here just to be consistent. And let's see, create a, we'll say, wrapper for the bootstrap accordion. And after I save it, I'm going to copy it. In fact, I'm going to copy all of this because now we need to create the short code for our panel section. So we're here in the description. We'll just start from the top. I'm going to change accordion wrapper to accordion panel. And I'll do the same over here. And really quickly, if we look back at our markup, in fact, I'll just go ahead and copy and paste it right now. It's going to be the div with the class of panel and panel dash default. And it stops right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And what I'll do is I'll paste it right here. And as you can see, it's a little bit different from the panel that we had before. And I'll point out um, some of the extra code that was added here in just a minute. Let me just clean this up for you to make it a little readable. I don't need all of this text, so I'll go ahead and delete it now. I also don't need the text inside the title because we're going to be changing that. So I now have uh, all the markup needed for the uh, panel group. And I'll go over it really quickly. Um, the only things we added uh, that were different from our old panel shortcode is this anchor tag here that has a few attributes. And we also added a new div to wrap around our panel body, which is needed to give that collapse effect. Um, we have to have a few attributes up here. We don't need name. In fact, instead of name, I'm going to call this one um, we'll call it type and if you remember in the last video we had the type of warning as a default for this one we'll just put default we're also going to need a title again and uh, for the title this time I'm just going to leave the default blank because um, we're going to have to fill that out especially if we want to have multiple accordions uh, a new one we need to add is called parent. Now if you look below, you'll see a data attribute on the toggle that says uh, data-parent. Now this has to match the name attribute up here. So for now, we'll leave that blank and um, we'll leave that blank and we'll just have to worry about um, typing the right parent name when we build the short code. So much like we did with our other short code, we'll have to add a few PHP tags in here. First one we're going to echo is the uh, type. Oops. Then I'll just copy and paste this because I need to reuse it a few times. Um, for the data-parent, Remember, it has to match the parent above, so we'll just put parent. And while we're at it, by default, since we named this one accordion, we'll go ahead and put the parent name of accordion as well, just to be a little consistent. Um, right here for our, our reference, we're going to put the title. And then we're also going to put it in here. Change that to title. Oops. Oh, and we'll also need the title to be the ID of this collapse section. Otherwise, when we click on this, um, this data toggle, it's not going to work. So lastly, we can finally add our content. And if we scroll down a little more, I'm going to go ahead and change this variable name from accordion wrapper contents to about accordion panel. And it looks like I also need to change um, the name of the function and the shortcode itself. So up here at the top, 
I'm going to change this to accordion panel short code. And then I'm going to scroll back down, call this accordion underscore panel, and then accordion underscore panel short code to match this function. Um, that should be it for now. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'll go back to my browser. And what I'll do is I'll remove the old short code here. And I'll start adding the new one. And why don't I go ahead and zoom in. Make this a little more readable. There we go. So the first one we built was called Accordion Wrapper. And I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And then the second one we built is called Accordion Panel. And I'll go ahead and close that out as well. Now remember, uh, by default, the name attribute was Accordion. Um, so we'll go ahead and leave this empty for now. What we can add is a title for our accordion panel. So why don't I just call this one example. And inside for content, this is an example of an accordion. I don't know, collapse, whatever. I can't spell today. There we go. Then I'll click update. And hopefully, when we view the page, you'll see that it's completely wrong. Let's see. Let's go back to the edit page, find out what went wrong. Accordion title. Um, oh, forgot to close it out. Just like a div tag or any other tag, you want to close your short codes out. So now, when we look at it, we'll see we'll have our panel set up. When we click on the toggle, um, it collapses. Remember, there's another attribute we can add. Type equal to, we'll put info and update it. And now you see the short code is parsed our new attribute and giving us a blue panel. And that's basically how nested shortcodes work. We've created our wrapper for this section, and then we've created another panel section uh, to be collapsed. And that pretty much concludes the section of this tutorial on shortcodes. Now that we know everything there is to know about it, we can go ahead and start working on more of the advanced features of our plugin. Uh, for example, we probably want more than one panel group. And because of that, um, we'd have to add more short codes within here. As it is right now, it's pretty difficult to have to, to manage because, you know, after a while, you may have one or five or however many uh, panels. Also, what if we want multiple accordions with uh, multiple accordion names? So what we'll be doing is, I'll leave this page, is we'll be building out the, um, the rest of the plugin. And what we'll do is we'll create a button here. And when you click on it, you'll be able to add all of these dynamically and you'll be able to add uh, multiple without having to type all that weird short code. So thanks for watching this section on short codes. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.